Wait a moment. This isn't a furry visual novel. Hey guys and gals, Nary here for Drake Wing Gaming, and Seven Mountain Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with a Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, June's Path. So yeah, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome awards like permanent access or community discord, server and full access to upcoming not safe for work videos. Anyway y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up and let's go. Alright, I do as I'm instructed, taking off my shoes and leaving them on the concrete floor before stepping inside. I knock on June's room, opening the door after hearing a soft come in from inside. I am greeted to the sight of June sitting on his bed with a controller in his hand. He looks away from the screen and up to see me as I walk into the room. Good afternoon, Yuichi san I have to admit, his casual greeting does throw me off a little bit. Hey there, June. What's up? Ah, shoot me! Um, I'm just playing a game, see? He waves the controller on his hand as if for additional effect. Yeah, right, I can see that. More like, um, what's up with you? I'm good. You? <sighs> why do I feel so painfully awkward? And more importantly, why doesn't he? I'm doing well. I guess I just came back to check in on you. You mean you came in to check up on me? Right, that. God, what the hell am I even doing? Why is talking so hard all of a sudden? You witchy sound, are you okay? You're acting a little weird. Yeah, I'm fine. More importantly, are you? I mean, after, um... After how things ended during the fest, Please, let me stop you right there. Please remember what I said then. I'd prefer to act like none of that ever happened. A sudden shift in his demeanor catches me completely by surprise. Still, this isn't the kind of thing I should... I think I should be... should think I should be swept under the rug. Besides, if I don't get to talk this out, I, I think I might just go insane. June, I, I'm sorry, but we really need to talk this through. It's not the kind of thing I can just forget. I was afraid you'd say that. I walk over to his bed and make a seat next to him. As soon as I sit down, June's tail lashes behind me and re readjusts himself, moving slightly farther away from me. Just seeing him do that already makes my chest hurt, and I don't quite understand why. June, I I'm sorry. I I'm sorry to have frozen like that with you, like that when you uh, when you said that what you did. But what you said was such a wonderful thing, and, and I really appreciate it. It just caught me by surprise. It's all right. I'm honestly not sure why I said what I did. I was feeling a bit out of it, and it just came out before I noticed what I was doing. I never expected to tell you that. It just slipped out, and I never expected you to accept it. Because I knew that would be the end, the end result that I never said if I never said anything. <laughs> Isn't it stupid? Getting upset and hurt over something you already knew was going to happen? That's not true. It's not stupid or anything. You have a right to get upset when things don't go your way. Honestly, it was already pretty stupid for me to say anything, say something. I wasn't really thinking, and my feelings just came pouring out before I could stop myself. I felt really hard for you, Yuichi san It scares me just how much I I didn't want to I didn't want to say anything that would risk making you treat me differently. But just looking at how awkward you're acting right now, I really messed that up. Second now. Coffee time. I'm honestly astonished. I never expected this level of introspection from June of all people. To be honest, he's always surprising me surprising me with his maturity, and yet I continue to give him far too little credit. I'm I'm not sure what to do. I've been conflicted since you since you confessed to me. To be perfectly honest, I get so I got so frustrated with myself over how I handled it that I ended up smashing my phone against a wall. I don't even know why I did it. Just I just did it before I realized it. What? You shouldn't do that. Phones are expensive. It's not like I just up and thought, hmm, what else would make this day more fun? Oh, I know, let me just smash my phone, you know? I did it without thinking. Fair enough. I guess we both acted without thinking, huh? Yeah. To say we feel awkward would be a monumental understatement. I'm trying to come up with the words to speak my mind, but I don't even know what it is that I wanted to say. At first, I planned to come here and properly reject his confession. I wanted to just apologize for how I reacted and try to clear the air. But as soon as I saw him, I, I got confused again. I don't know what I want. It angers me. I guess this is why Saya told me not to talk to him about it until I made up my mind. <laughs> I really do have a knack for not thinking things through. June, I... C can I get time to think about it? Huh? Before I even realize what I'm saying, words start coming out of my mouth. I I'm not sure how I feel about the whole thing, or about you. N not yet, at least. I I'm not saying that in the future I'll accept your confession, but... But I'm not sure I won't, either. So, so you're saying that... That you might... It's a pretty big might, to be honest, and I'm still really confused. I don't know how I feel, and until I get my feelings in order, I can't give you a proper answer. 
All I know is I never felt like this before. Whenever I get, whenever I got confessed to before, I always knew right away what my answer would be. But with you, I don't know. I, I want to say yes, but I also don't. And my thoughts are a mess right now. Uh, that's why I would like for us to just try to go back to normal until I can be sure. It put off my giving you an answer until I get one. Until I get to one. Although I also know that's a really selfish thing to ask. Okay. I could see his eyes almost glinting once he heard my words. It might have been bad of me to say what I just did. I might have given him hope when there is none, but... After how I failed to come up with words last time, this... This time they all just came out with full force before I even noticed what was happening. I understand myself far less than I, th than I thought I did. I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. At least I'm trying. Uh, at least I'm trying? I don't even know. Um, so... How do we act normal again after this? I was about to ask the same thing. The two of us twiddle our thumbs awkwardly, sitting on the bed together while completely silent. I'd even steer away from a situation like this. Um, so... Yeah? Alright, y'all. A second. Uh, take a quick little prop. A quick little pause. Alrighty, y'all, and we are back. Okay. D do you want to watch me play some games? Oh, sure! Gene immediately grabs his controller again, unpausing his game and playing it without saying a word. I watch him absentmindedly, too lost, in, too lost in my thoughts to actually pay much attention. The only thing I notice is him beginning to die. A lot. He seems to be pretty flustered just like me. Seems like he's not focusing on this game at all. What the hell are you even doing? Hey, can I ask a question? June freezes as soon as I speak up, his character freezing on screen alongside him. It takes a full second before he starts moving again. Yeah, sure. Your mom said you were out of the house since Friday. Where were you? That, that's an odd thing to say about, to ask about. Not really, I even mentioned it to Sai and... Wait, asking for advice? As in, about me? Oh! I forgot that he might not appreciate knowing that other, what other people, that other people have been told about it. You, wait, she said, you didn't! Um... No! June pauses his game, tossing controller away, leaning his back against the wall, hugging his knees and burying his face in them. I'm sorry, I tried asking for advice without giving them any information, but they kept pressing and... And what? You didn't know how to say that it was private? I'm sorry, I just... I'm really used to sharing everything with those two, so... Now they're gonna know that I'm gay! What if they treat me differently because of it? You know they'd never do that. If anything, they might be awkward about it because they don't want you to think... Because they don't want you to think that they think any differently of you. You do know all this could have been avoided if you just didn't say anything. <laughs> don't just laugh it off! Sorry. Um, uh, my whole face is so hot right now. I'm sorry. I guess I, I guess that's fine. I opened myself up to things like this happening when I told you about my feelings anyway. If it's worth anything, I'm surprised how easily you're able to admit that you're, you know, gay? Yeah. It's not a big deal for me or anything. I've known about it for a few years already and I had time to accept myself. To me, it's just part of who I am. Wow. That's such a mature way to look at it. And meanwhile, I couldn't even bring myself to say the word. Ugh, I suck. Do your parents know? Does it matter? Well, not really, but I guess I'm just curious. No matter how awkward it might be, this is a new part of you I only just found out about, and I kind of want to understand it more. All right, I told them about it a while ago, back when I was 16. How they react to it? And they were shocked, but then again, most people would be. But other than that, they've been really supportive of it. Mom and Dad kept teasing me about having a crush on you for at least two weeks now, I guess it's got really easy for them to tell whenever I talk about you or could you or you come over to visit. Oh! I suddenly feel very self-conscious about you about Yui San knowing I'm alone with her son in his bedroom with the doors closed. I didn't tell them about me confessing though, so you don't have to worry about that. I didn't notice anything weird about how you're acting. Or you were able to mask it that well? As far as they know, I've been a little bit out of it for a different reason. What is it? I'd rather not say. What? Come on, after all this you can't talk to me about it? June puts his hands between his legs, looking down at his feet and staying silent. One second, y'all. Water time. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Skittle-flavored. Grape Skittle-flavored water. June? I hesitantly reach out to him, putting a hand on his shoulder. He shivers at my touch, but he doesn't pull away. I really want to just reach around and hug him. I don't like seeing him looking so down and glum. It makes my chest hurt so much. But I also know it could just make things even more awkward, especially considering how we are right now. I don't want to do anything that could be misconstrued or cause him even more grief. I don't want to be the reason he's hurting. 
However, despite my subtle attempt to prod him for more information, June remained silent. I guess I'm not really the best at coaxing info out of other people. All right, all right, I won't ask anymore. You don't have to keep looking like that. Sorry. I decided that a tactical retreat is the best solution for now. Although, if I do end up dating him, I definitely wouldn't like for him to be keeping secrets from me. That's probably me getting ahead of myself, though. Is it okay if I ask more, uh, more questions about um, your interest in men? I guess. Uh, the cat's already out of the bag, so there's no problem telling you. Well, what should I even ask him? Let me know. How long have you known about your um preference? Come on, you can at least say the word, can't you? And believe me, I'm trying. It embarrasses me for some reason. That's kind of immature. God, be called immature by June of all people. Honestly, I, I guess I had it coming. Let's see, I think I started noticing when I was around 14. Really? Well, what made you notice? It's kind of embarrassing. It can't be that bad. I studied in a boarding school for a few years before I moved back home. The male dormitories, male dormitories didn't really have any private showers. Oh! We had bathroom units with toilets and sinks in the rooms, but if we wanted to shower, we had to use the communal shower in the dorm. I noticed that I kind of liked uh, looking at guys a bit too much. So you gave it... So it gave you a hard time? So what? Watching the guys walking around naked gave you a bit of a hard time, so to speak? What? Before I even have time to think about it, I run my mouth and make a perverted joke. <laughs> I'm just joking. Ah, uh, he's not even looking at me right now. Sometimes... He mumbles something under his breath that I can't really make out. I'm sorry, what? I said it did sometimes! Ah. No words come to my mind right now. Congratulations to me, I somehow made things even more awkward. I seriously deserve a prize for just how far I'm able to cram my foot into the hole. I really shouldn't have asked that, should I? No comment. Oy vey! Trying to think of more questions is pretty hard, too. Ah, I'm curious about it, but I can't think of what to ask. Let's see, what questions? What else do we have? Have you had a boyfriend before? So, since you said you've already come to terms with your own sexuality, does this mean you've dated before? Ah. There we go. Take it now. Water time. Alright. That's awfully personal. I mean, it's not like I asked, hey, have you boned a dude before? What? No, 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 no. I, I, I said that's not what I'm asking. No, not, not what I was asking. That's a really big lack of tact, you know. I'm just trying to be funny for the sake of lightening the mood. Sorry, I made a bad joke. I just wanted to know if you had a boyfriend before. No boyfriends. Oh, okay. It was... Huh. Don't know what kind of answer I was expecting, but it was kind of anticlimactic. Although, um, for the full sake of, uh... For the full sake of disclosure, I, uh... I sort of kissed a guy before. What? Lyle, when I'm right next to you, you don't shout. Sorry. Why does it surprise you that much to hear anyway? Am I unkissable or something? No, that's not what I meant at all. I think you're really cute and very kissable. <gasps> huh? Uh-oh. The hell did I just say? Uh, I mean, I, I just... Uh, I didn't... It's all right. You don't have to say anything more. Ah, he's not even looking at me in the eye anymore. I change the subject. So, so, what about this guy you kissed? Worst change of subject ever! Well, there's not much to tell. He's one of the few openly gay students in my old school, and I kind of went to him for advice back when I was first coming to terms with myself. I remember saying something like, maybe I don't really like guys. Maybe I just feel more comfortable around them than I do with girls. It's not like I can test it anyway. And? and then he kissed me and asked me what I thought of it. Whoa, seriously? All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank you all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver tier patron, Cade Silverman. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Anyway, if you all want to get your names in the credits, get access to when I say four contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!